I'll let you distribute that. What's that? What are these like? Um, the senior center is in two, two, oh, I see. Oh, so I, put so, it in so I just two. put it behind the, the other one. Yes, sorry, that is, I know that's confusing. And then stabilization we put in, um, I think 11 is the other article, right? Yeah. You said that frontier meeting was 3-3. Um, correct. Fr frontier Regional was, was the one that was held on Tuesday night, correct? Right, correct. Frontier Regional. Okay, can we uh, can we take a look at the uh, the minutes from February twenty seventh? Was what last? Uh, last Thursday. Just with the one amendment as far as the uh, Deerfield Elementary School budget, the no, 311, yeah. instead of the Frontier, the Frontier was? As amended. Right. Was the third, yeah. Well. I put that amendment and I also added the minutes. Oh, okay. the, the that's, 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 yeah. oh. I just put eight colon and then I waited for it. So I'll second Bruce's motion with that amendment or the change. So let me just ask uh, when we're when there's a change in this a, a change or a correction. Uh, and where is that, by the way? It's on the last page. It's on the last, the last like the last big paragraph or something. Up towards the top. Second line over here. Just. It's just a Deerfield Elementary instead of the Frontier. That's all. So Allie has actually been um, showing that as the approved minutes. She she puts approved at the top and sends them out to us again by email. Right. I can't do the watermark on my this program yep. for draft, so I'm just writing it on the top. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll put the, those two dates edited in here. So do these minutes, then who gives the minutes to, does Barb need to keep those? Who keeps the minutes? I emailed them to Pat on that list. So oh, got it. I don't, yeah. she's never responded that to so it. So she told me recently that you just email them to postings, like you would post the meeting and oh. they take care of it. Is that a thing of that I should know? <laughs> postings at post your I think it's postings at town. So, you, so you, 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 you email the minutes to that. That's what she told oh. me. So should I go and email all of the minutes? And who manages that? Well, I know postings, Jen and theirs, has been, uh, was, was handling them. I don't know if that's still So apparently both Jen and Pat get it. 
and that'd be the yeah, he, he, way that's that's so when you send it to postings they both get it okay and that's yeah, yeah. and, and, and i think the town i think the town okay, administrator and town clerk may get it too i'm not sure i just want to make sure that's in here so i don't forget that that's a thing it's funny because I've asked us several different people and everyone's like, I don't know. So I just email it back to the group mm -hmm. from the yeah. agenda. Well, where, where do you, uh, oh, who does the agenda? Well, yeah. Pat said the agenda, so I've been, I've been including her with the minutes. Right. The, agenda. Yeah. the only thing on the agenda is the fact that we're having a finance committee meeting. Yeah. Yeah. It's the town's budget. Well, I, I know what I know what I was doing. They told me to mail the agendas to postings. Dot whatever. Right? Yes, and then and, so and so, then they took care of distribu yeah. the so distribution. So Pat, so Pat does it. Yeah. Or you know, I would say you know, I ask for a favor, ask for a yeah. favor. So she does it. She gives me a copy right then and there. She keeps a copy for herself and zips out the copies oh. to posting okay. and then. Yeah. To the committee and town administrator, yeah. and town account. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway. okay. Okay. So that's the way that works. Does anybody know what time the meeting is on the line? I don't. I believe it's six o'clock. I'm not sure. It is six o'clock. And that's at the Deerfield Elementary, Elementary School. School. In the probably in the cafeteria. Okay. Right. And then the select board comes back here for a select oh, board meeting. Oh, you do? Is everybody else have it? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, not yet, but they will. Because oh, right. I, I made costs. Sorry. I didn't realize that was what you were talking about. No. I thought you were talking about their big budget. Oh, gotcha. No. Oh, so sorry. That's all right. Yeah. At least I thought I made copies. Oh, yeah, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I got them if you need them. Um. Okay. Oh, I know. I so, you've got a list there. Thank you. I'll just take that. It's not what happened to him. Do we want to vote these minutes? Uh, we didn't. All right. We didn't vote. It's right. moved. Oh. Seconded. seconded. Yeah. Oh. Moved. Seconded. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Right. Unanimous? Abstain. Abstain. Four zero one. Yep. Nice job again, Abby. Abby, huh? Yeah, Abby. Yeah, I'm making all sorts of mistakes today. I, I said good morning, John, when I walked in here. Tonight and I, was 6 o'clock. I have this reserve fund transfer request. Do yes. you want to do that next? Sure. Okay. So, um, take a copy there. Good for you. And then if you pass that down to Jeff and Skip, I have the original for you because okay. you need yeah. to sign it. So whoever wants it. Yep. If you would, and then give that one back to me. So you're able to do this even though it's capital? We talked about that. Yes, because it's in the omnibus budget. If it hadn't That's been in I the thought. omnibus budget. Yeah. And that was what I was thinking thing, too, right? but I wanted to confirm yeah. that with Tom before okay, I moved good. forward. All right. So this is the difference between the amount that was voted and the amount we paid and the amount that the vehicle cost. Correct. So what, what was voted? I thought it was upwards of fifty-five thousand. Uh, for fiscal twenty-one, it's fifty-five thousand, but for fiscal twenty, 20. it was fifty-two five. But there was another item that couldn't be transferred from the old cruiser to the new one, and I believe that was their um, computer system, wasn't it? I can't remember. Right, I believe, I believe that's right. what it was. It did not fit. It would fit. Right. It so wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. fit the build out of the vehicle. So that puts it over 55000 So we're going to run into that for this year again? He will, but he'll be able to absorb a small amount in his own budget, I'm sure. The 3500 was a little bit too much. Okay. So could I have a motion to... Uh, but one way or the other, I'll make a motion. <laughs> I move that we approve 345795 for the cruiser. I'll second. Uh, we have a motion that's been seconded. I just need a minute. I'm sorry. I lost my document. <laughs> 
sorry, I know those were emailed out to you kind of late. This no, afternoon. that's okay. I just want to make sure I'm putting them in the right spot. So I'm going to get really confused later. Okay. 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 So the motion and then the second. Who did the second? You. Yep. Thank you. Okay. I'm up to date. Okay. All those Thank in favor? All right. All right. So it's five zero zero, unanimous. Okay. Great. And if you would um, want to share that with um, the select board, I think it's just a matter of just this year. Okay. Yeah. Of just 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 letting you know that we did that. There's a copy if you want to oh. keep one for yourself. Um, I know I kind of put together a list, but you tell me what you want to address first, next, and, and last, I guess. Well, what have, you, what have you got? Well, I've got items from our budget sheet. It's the, the last page, just miscellaneous items. And then, um, I, and then there were a couple of items from last meeting that, that I was asked to research and get back to you on. So I thought I would, would uh, let you know that, and then I know we wanted to talk about Frontier Regional. Yep. Okay. So. So which one are we going to hit now? Well, I figured um, just let's just go down the line. On that last page, right about um, halfway down, you have the Smith Volk uh, tuition, and then the Smith Volk transportation. Mm -hmm. One's for seventeen thousand nine sixty-five, and the other is sixteen thousand. So that's the cost of one student to attend Smith Vocational School. Yeah, great. Um, uh, for the coming year. We don't know if there's going to be another student or not, but this is the student that um, we're paying for right now in fiscal 20, uh, going to the uh, criminal, criminal justice program. Um, so we figured a budget, budget for that at least. Uh, Casey is waiting to hear back from Smith Oak mm -hmm. and um, the school as to whether there might be somebody else. But I don't think they, I, I think the applications aren't even due until April 1st. So oh. I'm not sure if we'll, we'll know that right away. But you know, it's. But for the time being, I thought we could vote this. There's no budget sheet for it. There's no budget sheets for any of these last items that we're going to discuss. Make a motion to move the Smith, uh, Smith Vocational Transportation line for $16,000. So this is for transportation. Uh, is there a second? Second. Move the second. Any discussion? We don't have any choice on it. We, we really don't. Uh, we don't. You know, our, I think this is something. Tied. I actually think this is something that. Trevor, would it, could we talk with, would it make sense to talk with uh, our state rep and state senator? As I understand it, this is a student who is, uh, and I could be wrong, so I'd have to clarify it first, who has a major, I'm going to call it a major, of criminal justice. Mm -hmm. And I know there was some concern at the uh, at Desi to, about criminal justice as a major at this level, right? And I guess I'd like to express my concern, and I'd hope that mm -hmm. selectmen would express their concern, right, to our state rep and state senator that this is whether I don't think that this is an appropriate major. Uh, if this was at the Community college level, that's one thing, but right. certainly not at the secondary level. Can't even, you know, I don't think they can even, typically if it's criminal justice, I don't know, what's criminal justice? Usually it's pretty broad. Pretty wide open. Yeah, wide open. I mean, usually for technical, you know, you're going for a trade and you're working, you know, at 10th grade, you're going out and you, you know, or 10th or the 11th grade, you have the ability to go out and work in mm -hmm. the field. You know, the week that you're supposed to be in shop, you can actually yeah. be employed, but I don't know if you can be employed in criminal justice at that age. So, learning you basics know, and be a guard up yeah. there at jail or something. Well, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm working at uh, courthouse, perhaps, yeah, courthouse. But, right? But I don't, I don't, I'd have to find out more about the program and what they do and see if it's something that, you know. I mean, last, last year, I talked with, you know, Russ, uh, 
Yeah, I'm not going to get the last name. The attorney? No, no, no. Russ is the uh, business manager of Franklin Tech. Oh, no. Yeah. Speaking of which, just as I'm remembering, uh, we're losing our rep to that select to that school committee. So he's moving out of town. So if anybody's interested in being a anybody interested in being a you know a rep to our Franklin Tech school committee that'd be that'd be helpful yeah. we could raise these issues there and you know but yeah, yeah. no Russ uh, yeah. indicated last year that uh, that there, he thought that there was some concern on the part of uh, the Department of you Secondary could, Education about this major mm -hmm. you could check very easily because all all the programs offered through your technical schools the curriculums have to be approved by the state yeah, in the yeah. chapter 74 regulations yeah. so if you uh, you know if you refer to them you should be able to get a pretty good idea mm -hmm. of what the program involves you can probably even get a curriculum of what the program involves yeah. and uh, how it's been approved what's required of the student and so on and so forth right. and what's required of the course in the school so is I, I know the programs have to be reviewed and approved by the state to be certified, so. And it's not so much the tuition, you know, it's the transportation, you know. I mean, the tuition is what it is, but we pay that per student, as you know, for Frontier, but, right. um, and it should, as you were saying, it's usually higher. So, right. I, I don't know, I just think it, yeah. it's the, you know, it's the, Double to just get them to Northampton back or her to Northampton. I mean, it's it's a hundred bucks a day. Uh, and you have to get down and back twice. Yep. So I mean, it's not it's not seventeen thousand or eighteen thousand is yeah. terribly out of out of the range. But right, it's just a, it's got to be you know an hour each way down and back basically. Um, yeah, wish you could Uber. <laughs> be cheaper. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, except that, you know, I, I'm not sure that it doesn't have to be in an approved uh, right. yeah. no, just school, school bus, except right. that a parent, right. a parent could take the child. Yeah. Or I guess when they get to be, have a driver's license, Let's they take the child. Try to look into, you know, into that when I'm checking, yeah. talking with them. So is the transportation just a flat? Right. 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 Your example, if the kid is a senior in high school and is driving themselves down there, do we still pay, or is it only like as it's used? Um, you know? It's it's only as it, as it's used. But we well, how much we would need, right? That's the way I understand. Well, it. except that a parent could apply for, say, look, I'll take my kid down there for twelve thousand. I see. And you know, they were willing to do that. We would probably jump on it. Oh, you can and save four, six grand. Sure. Yeah. When when we did this back in 2015 and 2016, we had multiple students there, and the cost for transportation was sixteen thousand. So I thought, the way we're going it's, this year, it looks like it's probably going to be fourteen thousand. I thought, well, we'll build a little cushion in there just in case. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is a budget, and, right. you know. Yeah, we don't have any choice. We have to, we have to make transportation available. So that's just okay. Block. This is transportation. Uh, there are no objections. Do we have a vote? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, so that's sixteen thousand. Uh, tuition. <coughs> that's the fee. That's the fee we're paying this year, uh, minus two cents. <laughs> I think it comes out to 17965.02, but it's all in one account, so it, you're not going to overdraw that. Mm -hmm. um, so, assuming they aren't going to raise the rates for next year because they raised them this year, um, that's the that's the, the uh, cost. Is a motion. I'll move 17965 for Smith Lokes Fed tuition. I'll second it. Uh, there are no objections. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's unanimous. Five zero zero. Okay. And I lied to you that I didn't have a, a budget sheet for any of these items because that next item, the OPEB um, funding, there is a budget sheet for that. It's pretty simple, but it's based on our policy 
uh, it should be in tab 11 for you. Um, but it's based on our policy of, of allocating 4% of the prior year's total health care costs to the town. So it's in tab 11? It is, yep. That, that's where I, I have it. Um, I, I don't that's have one, put that's, it. so I don't know whether I put it some. Oh, there it is. I've got it in tab 9. Okay. Um, keep in mind that this year, uh, in the indirect costs, we are getting money in from SCAMS, the Senior Center, and from the Wastewater Treatment Plant to help support that 40000 <clears throat> Okay, we have... Oh, that funding, 40272 So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? This is this is formula that we use, correct? Yep. What? 4% of... Uh, yes. Something. 4% of last year. So, um... It's, it's actually for fiscal 21, you're paying 4% of what we paid in 2019 because that's the only year I have a full year of um, numbers for fiscal 19. So that's 4% of what though? The total health care costs. Total health care costs. Mm -hmm. So I, then the health care costs went up 5.79%? Right. I guess so. Reasonable. What is there for this OPEB? Is there a, a fund, like a plan? Does that stay? I mean, it, it's low. Well, I think. Does it go, like, is there a plan to wrap it up? I hope so. Or if yeah, the answer can be the no OPEB, if there isn't one yet. No, yes. I mean, there, it, there's an idea that, you know, maybe when we get some um, money in for things like marijuana, um, solar, you know, so some some things that are going to come into this town that, you know, that we may be able to afford to steer a, a percentage that way. The other thought was once the retirement, once the pension was paid up, to, but that's years from now, I think, right? I don't know when the pension would be paid. 30, 32, 32 30, 33, yeah, 34, something like that. Something like that. In, in 30, 32? <coughs> something like that. Yeah. Well, so, maybe, maybe 30, 32. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Oh, 20, 32, sorry. <laughs> Maybe 30, 32. Um, yeah, could be. Um, so I'd love to find other streams of revenue to try and add to this, because this is going to be just really difficult for us to fund in the long term. Um, but at, at some point, though, don't we hit a, a, a point of a balance where the people the number that will be available to, or the people available to this plan, won't that level out at some point? You may have 100 per year or whatever the case may be. I guess what I'm saying, if we keep increasing this as time goes on, yeah. when do we hit the break even point? <laughs> when do we catch up to those back payments? I think when we have time. like 11 or 16 million in it. Okay. So. You're, you're never going to hit a plateau because as people are living longer, uh, that's going to ramp along with that as well as the cost of living longer is higher medical bills, which in turn means higher medical premiums. So right. you know, you're kind of, you're probably somewhere down the road, may, but hit it's a, hit totally unforeseeable. And, right, yeah. You know, it's, it's so far down the road. Right. But, uh, you know, if you could say, okay, all we've got to plan for is everybody's going to live to be 85 and they cut off, then you can see a point that's going to stop. Right, well, that's but what we're well, Wellesley and have enough money to fully fund it already. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah that's know, a, as, well, as well as being right. two years behind <coughs> with funding, you're looking at uh, well, potential growth for t of two years every time that you do it, too. So even though right. it's a 4% policy, it's a 4% right. based on past history, it's not a 4% based on present Yeah, no, I, I understand you know, so. that. Right. Well, it's a, it's a damn if you do, damn if you don't. Think. Yeah, it is. This, is. this is for retired people, and if you, 
if you make the assumption that at least in most cases, people that we're talking about are those that are collecting Social Security. So right now, give or take, Social Security costs about uh, the, the supplemental plan, yeah. mm -hmm. I should say, is about 300 bucks a month for two people. Thirty six hundred dollars a year. Give or take three to four thousand dollars a year. Yeah. So even if you lived for twenty five years after, and right now the average is in the twenty range, best. Eight, 80 years old. So if you started at sixty five. So let's say twenty years. Mm -hmm. Four thousand bucks is eighty thousand dollars. It's not that you have to have $80,000, but you have to have enough money when they turn 65 or the time that they retire so that, so that it, together with, with any uh, uh, reasonable rate of return, and with $80,000, a 4% rate of return would cover next year's payment. You'd never touch the principal, so you don't need anywhere near $80,000. It's... it's I don't, I don't understand it. The, the, the problem is that you've got somebody out there maybe who uh, uh, well, there's some gap has people. some younger like the people who are retiring. Police officers and stuff should retire. Early. They can retire. They can so retire there's a, bigger gap a little early. For some of them, but yeah. But yeah, I agree with you. So that part's true. But, you know, still. So this is the four percent. Is you said. Total health care costs, like total health care costs, including people who are not retired and people who are retired. Yes. Whole. No. Okay. Correct. So. And we and we really don't have that many people who are collecting. Uh, well, of course, we keep adding new staff. <laughs> What's that? He's like it's a pointed look. <laughs> um, when we were talking about this a month or so ago, and there's somebody who comes and does a, a study periodically. Actuarial, they do that uh, every other yeah. year. Yeah. Um, and I think it was offered that we could talk to that mm -hmm. yes. person. Yes. Sure. That's on the schedule, right? Is that we hope so. They, 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 that up. Yeah. yeah. Um, that he did that last time. He yeah. came and did a presentation for all the finance committee and anybody else. Yes. It was. I think that was, was two years, years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So I could set that up again for sure. Yeah. 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 It is. It is budgeted, I believe, for this year, right? For this coming yeah, year. Yes, yeah, so. it is. Because yeah. we talked about it in the budget. Yeah. Um, what should I? Call that. Who is that? I'm just going to wait a minute. It, it, that's an actuarial. Parker Gilmore, yeah, um, Parker Gilmore. Is, it, is he from Bartholomew? Or from I somebody else? I think so, but I don't know. I think he is from Bartholomew. I don't know. I'll just write actuarial presentation. Yes, there, there you go. go. Perfect. Perfect. Well, that no, we don't know when. Good job. No, no. no. Yeah. I would probably say yeah. sometime in the fall. Yeah. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to read it, but if they do, they're going to have a Yeah, we read yeah. it. I've been reading it. <laughs> okay, this is fun to do. You should read it because sometimes I put in what I'm thinking, and that's what I should be putting in. <laughs> what are these posters on about? <laughs> Oh, this is what I want. It's voted. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we need to vote this, I think. Yeah. yeah. So did we get a Bruce I move, I move recommended. <coughs> seconded. Yeah. Julie seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So it's unanimous. Yes. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, so then you'll see um, a little bit further down. I did plug in something for snow and ice. Uh, we're at eighty-eight thousand right now, and we have a budget of ninety. So I'm sure we'll go over. I just I just plug in twenty thousand just to have something in there. Um, I also I don't know if you'll you'll notice or care at the moment, but I I brought down the amount that we could put away in stabilization to two hundred thousand. So when on snow and ice, that's for this current year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I I so. you know it's it's going to change between now and then, but I just plug something in to have it in there. Um, but I did change the stabilization amount to 200000 only because 
if I look at what anticipated revenues could be, we needed to bring it down to 200000 Even at that, we are only leaving $16,000 left on the table from free cash. And you know that's not, that's not going to happen. So, so we're going to have to cut more stuff. But I just thought at least it's balanced. Okay. The one I handed out tonight, did you? Yeah. It's on the last page. Very, oh, very nice. Yep. Maybe yeah, Trevor right. or... How about if we stick in the same amount uh, as last year? 150? No, the 35, 212, snow and ice. Or if I got the wrong... Uh, oh, well, we could, but I, I... Unless we hit some really big snowstorms between now and, and April, I don't think it's going to be that big. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But we could. We could stick in 35 if that makes you feel better. What, what line are we putting in? We're actually putting in capital. So let me ask you a question. Uh, well, we want to maintain just ninety thousand in the budget, right? Because we don't want for to next year. For next yeah, year, correct. right? Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make yeah. sure we're yeah. clear yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, okay. If we, if we make that thirty-five to twelve, then we won't have to worry about free cash at all. What are you talking about? It'll be gone. Okay, <laughs> so the very next line item below that is the 350th celebration, and the select board has requested that we set aside another 10000 for that. I think that was the plan. So we could vote that. That is not on a budget sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which ones do you want to do first? We've got... Uh, well, that I, I wasn't intending to do anything else but that and then the capital request from Frontier Regional. But if you want to uh, do the others, I thought, like maybe do those, the I thought maybe that had to wait until we got a feel for what the select board was recommending for the capital requests or whether that was going to change any and what's going to happen with stabilization. I don't know. I, I'm leaving that to you. <laughs> um... Well, this is our recommendation. So, uh, the request that we got from the Capital Improvement Committee was two hundred thousand dollars, or two hundred fifty thousand. And uh, uh, so, what would you like to do? Well, given what the president is talking to us. We're going to have to go back. Are we spinning the wheels at this point in time? Kind of. So I guess Cause, cause my personal feeling change. is until we under, address the underlying problem, why even waste my time? As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I, I'm just going to abstain from it, the rest of these lines uh, it, because we haven't addressed the underlying problem. We know there's a problem, so why are we going to... Passing these is full this point. Now these so ones, the, the, the Smith location and so forth, we have no say on that. Okay, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the rest of these, until we address where we're going to recommend, whether we're going to be a debt exclusion, Proposition 2.5, mm -hmm. uh, well, we yeah, need to... Keep, we, we, keep, we're, we're keep, just, in, keep in mind this budget has nothing in it yet for any pay down of debt or any interest exactly. costs for the wastewater treatment plant, both for the clarifier project and for the other project, and, I, and I, I didn't get a chance to visit with you about that. But we can choose how much we're going to pay down in, in, in that case, or it, you know, we can choose how much we want to put into fiscal 21. We, we know we're going to have to borrow some money, so we're going to have to have interest costs in, in fiscal 21. But we could choose not to pay down anything. We could choose well, we can to just carry choose. it in the capital projects fund for another year. But I suspect we want to start paying down on it, and that's going to affect what your budget looks like too. So that that's another um, thing that's going to be crunching. Uh, but that that's not even included in this. It is not. That, not that you're already talking that we're down to fifteen thousand dollars. That's without that stuff besides. That's right. That's, you that's, know, so that's I mean, why I wonder you know, if you so would I have guess to. Our conversation is going to be: Are we on the? In, are we uh, on the? mode that we are definitely going to be recommended, recommending the town meeting, a debt exclusion and or proposition to have, and if we're not going to swallow that, then why are we passing these at 100% other than the ones that we have no choice at? I we might just want to start agree. looking hard and look at it, it start right now, right. from the start, top, and start over. 
we've, 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 we have talked about this and we knew this was going to catch up to us. We've mm -hmm. talked about it for the last yep. two or three years here at least. And we knew at some point this was going to catch up, and now it's pay the Evidently filler there. time, yeah. you know. Evidently and here. And right, it's here. And I mean, even if you even if you squashed the capital uh, improvement uh, stabilization fund completely, you still you, you're, you're, you're still, still not going to have enough. Trouble, possibly, right. depending on it's whether you want to pay. Right. You know, I I suspect first of all the clarifier is not going to cost us a million dollars. No. So, so it's going to be less than that, but even at less than that, if, if we pay our full share, it's probably going to be close to $150,000 to $200,000 mm -hmm. for the town, and then of course the wastewater treatment plant has their share. Mm -hmm. um, so we eliminate stabilization and you bring that into it with a little bit of interest. If it's $150,000, yeah, you could do that, mm -hmm. but then you can't do anything else. All right. Well, I don't know that, you know, until we've completely looked at it and, and looked at all the other numbers in here, uh, we get substantial increases in some line items. Yes, we do. And mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> we already know what, the, what these are, so, you know, well, let's just start from the beginning and start over and say, okay, start maybe we've got to bring these people back. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I can think of a hundred thousand dollars that I think could be put off right off the bat. One new I'm police sure. cruiser and a new pickup truck. I'm sure we all have you know, areas where But those are some big ticket items, okay? Uh, you know, I'm sorry, uh, you know, it, it, and I understand where the police department is coming from, but by the same token, we, we sold one cruiser to the police, uh, Guild Police Department for three thousand dollars. Now, it's good enough for the Guild Police Department, but it's not good enough for us. Are our standards that high? You know, we gave one to Skims, which is a great place for it to go. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's good enough for Skims. If their emergency, it, it sits there. So. Well, I don't yeah, care. It was given to them as a, as a vehicle. You mean it's good enough for them to use. We have two spares sitting out here most of the time anyway. Why can't we get another year out of some of these vehicles? I'm sorry, if we got to put even $10,000 into each one of these vehicles, Twenty thousand is a lot cheaper than a hundred thousand. Right, the pickup and truck was discussed as far as the highway department. Yeah. In fact, Trevor even brought that up again when we we're going through the plan. Yeah. And the committee brought that up but too. It, yeah. In question. And, but that's not even that. that's not even in this cash. Right. That's not design. even in there. Right. Think, you know, so that's not even included. In I that. think if you're discussing changing that, you know, that established. Um, timeline for cruisers, for instance, I mean, that needs to go along with the discussion of the police service and what the town wants to pay for in terms of the services that they get, because I do think it needs. wouldn't affect it. Right. But, and I think that's a reasonable discussion to have, but I'm not the sure that we have... should be here. Exactly, and I don't, I don't think that, you know, this committee is, is entirely responsible for determining how much service the town wants. No, we are not, but right. we are, no, we we are, are responsible for making recommendations right. for, right. 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 for uh, and that it's, that it's putting forth a budget that yeah. we right. think the town can live with, right. and uh, and we have not discussed the schools either. Right. Okay. I mean, in the final you know, decision, it goes to the voters, but you know we have to make a recommendation, and if our recommendation says we should cut this, and the people want to override that. And Fine, I'm, so be it. But I mean, you know, we, we, know what we have, that, we have that, to ourselves right. create something that's responsible. If you, if somebody doesn't want to listen to us, that's their choice. Okay. And so, uh, but, uh, you know, we've been saying this for several years and nobody's wanted to listen. And it's, it's uh, we haven't had a problem in here. Right. You know, yeah. So do need right. to have the people need, here. Right. And you, yeah. need, to, you right. need to very clearly be right. able to lay we out. Need to, and I think that's, yeah. I think that's fine i think that's a right. good idea to know yeah. what is it why you know where are these values what you know what do they mean to us and is what, that worth it because that's right. what you know that's what well, one of the things i had asked the select board last year mentioned to the select board that i would like to see is two budgets from every department head one was a level services and one was a level budget yeah. and all they requested by the department heads was a level services so we don't even know what the repercussions are if they did did a uh, without starting over Mm -hmm. So the point is, we stop now. What do you want to do? Start. Well, we're in. A, we're in a bind. Like I say, we can finish the ones we have no choice on. 
But as far as the rest of them, might just well start over because we're going to have to start over anyway. Well, we may. But unless we're going to is, unless we're going to present this to the town with a recommendation of the proposition to an half override. We the problem with that is that we have no say in the prop two and a half override. I understand that. that's a but that would be our recommendation. We would have, we would well, have no, to go with the town vote. Even, no, it wouldn't. It's the selectmen who have to make that put that on the agenda. We can't put it on there. So there's right. nothing that we can recommend. We could recommend to the select board that it, this budget no. go along with that. And it's up to them to decide what they want to do. But we I agree. Now, what I think we need to be able to do is within the next week or so is to say, look, here's the budget, here's the recommendations that we've made, and what do you want to do? Because there are other things that aren't showing in here that somewhere along the way I know that there's an interest in doing. And right. so the question is, what? But I'd like to get a total in here somewhere. Now I realize that we've gone through it pretty much, voted everything that's been requested. You're right. But we're not going to vary 2% on it. You know, well, even if we finish filming and Brenda had them all up. You know, for what little we've knocked out, I don't think you'll knock out one percent. So you might just well say the number that no, we exists right now. We're near one percent. Right. So you might just well say the number that is right here, right now, is our final number. Okay. How are we going to address that? We have the schools listed, right? Yeah. Okay. And you have, but we don't have frontier capital. And I really, myself That's personally, there is to be no a, capital. To be I, I, I agree with Bruce, and I, I, I would that. really hate to see us start to trying to shift stuff into debt exclusion, debt exclusion, because I don't think that's giving the public a true feeling of what's happening financially in this town. Because we, we have a tendency, everybody's afraid to use the word two and a half, because that gets people's attention. But that's basically what you're doing, even when you throw a lot of this into debt exclusion, is you're basically doing a two and a half override, just not telling people that. Well, the problem is, well, no, obviously, it's the difference is, right, it's, the, it's uh, that's, uh, it is different because the two and a half goes on the tax base. It's I understand okay. that. The, the debt exclusion is so called temporary. On some of this debt exclusion, I don't call 25 years temporary. Well, <laughs> the problem with debt exclusion, it doesn't cure next year's ills. No. Okay, the only way you're going to cure next year's ills is to reset the base, yep. which is an override. Okay, the, the base, two and a half is designed to fail, and sooner or later, some, some towns have, it's been sooner, we've been very fortunate enough with it, we've been able to push it off for quite a few years. But it's, it's the only way it's, you know, either people got to start saying, do we really, really need this? Or they have, or it needs to reset the base so that the two and a half will be on a reset base. The debt exclusion is not on a reset base. That's the problem. So as you end I, up with the same I, problem next year. Right. And as so, I've said before, this town's going to have to get to the point where they're going to have to determine the difference between wants and needs. Yeah. And if they're willing to pay for it, then fine. They better be ready to open up their wallets because right. their tax tax rate's going to go up. That's right. And I feel sorry for the people. I've spoken to several people that have actually said to me that if the tax rates keep going up, that they're going to be forced to move out of town. And that's sad. I'm, you know, who knows, but to, to have people worried about the, getting to the point where they're afraid the taxes are going to go up, where they can't even afford to stay in town. And people who say, well, you know, the seniors, so they've got to, to, do they've got to downsize and so on and so forth. Well, that's easier said than done when you're 70, 75, 80 years old. So what is it that you'd like to do with the budget items that we haven't addressed? We're going to vote the schools, right? Or not. Or vote down, you know, don't approve them. Um, well... I'd like to obviously hear you know, wait you know, until the 11th to do right. I'd like moment. to hear them sure. right the Deerfield Elementary. What about but Frontier? But you were at the, you were at the Frontier meeting right. and Jefferson yeah, Frontier meeting. Charles so Frontier you felt meeting. like we could we could uh, uh, vote on those they, the they, Frontier and the Frontier. The, that's their budget. I mean, we we could vote it down if you wanted to. I'm not sure what that will give you, but 
or you could recommend some other amount. So what was causing the increase in the frontier budget? It's like a 5% increase. Well, I think part of it was the number of students, right? Yeah, it's yeah part of it was the number of students, but they also had, uh, they also we, have we, two we, and a half Xerox, positions. We Xerox this, and you can see it. They also are, are doing two and a half additional positions. They did, though, uh, to be fair, they did, and I don't remember the exact number, it's a small number, but they did uh, I believe let go a couple of IAs, instructional assistants, in or shifted them within the building. Oh, okay. So, and I just, I don't remember off the top of my head that exact conversation. Okay. Uh, and, you know, and don't get me wrong, you know, I don't I personally don't think a five or six percent increase over last year is out of line with what's going on in the world today. Okay, I really don't. However, with our hands tied with two and a half, that puts a restraint on what we're allowed to do. Okay, because the way things are going, I and we just came back from Phoenix. I was talking to the uh, uh, builder out there. They're framers. They're carpenters. They're paying one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. They're framers. Their plumbers are 150 yeah, to 170. They have to live in Phoenix. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's a dry heat. I spent four years there. It's dry. Not it, it, it. No, yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, it, it's a matter they they can't get the people. You know, where, you know, uh, you know, you're part of a dwindling generation. <laughs> okay, yes, <laughs> we're part of the like, one stepping out. <laughs> You well, have to, you have to pay for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, part of it too is I wish I wish the schools. I I understand they're fighting for their budget and so on and so oh, sorry, forth. But as I tried to explain the other night at Frontier, we're really working with one budget. You know, a lot of times they look at it as they have their own separate budget and it's two budgets and so on and so forth. But what happens in the school systems? has a direct impact on what happens in the town. Oh yeah. Big as big far big as right. Big and big. you're working with the same pool of dollars. So you know, what happens one place makes it tough for the other place and vice versa. So well, it's very tough for the other place. We're basically you know, we're in here fighting over, you know, uh, yep. the whole operation of the town for 25% of the budget. Mm -hmm. the, school, the school has eaten up any new growth and it's and 200%. That's what I'm saying. It, you know, it's a shame. Right. It's just the you school. Know, we're in here fighting. Yeah, we're, we're in here beating, beating down 25% of the part that runs the town mm -hmm. and the schools is only 25%. We're up, we're trying to beat up that 25%. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's almost impossible to beat up to 75%. You know, so so you get, just so that you, the uh, Frontier's budget is made up really of two pieces. One is there's a state required minimum contribution. Right. All right. And uh, you can see in Deerfield's case that minimum contribution went up by, from the state 7%. And that's just based on the number of students? No, no. it's equalized valuation in large measure. Okay, this, um, this budget is a little different from the number I've had previously. So what is the difference, Skip? Um, it looks like it's gone down just a teeny bit. 262, two, unless I added it wrong, 2626, two, 275 plus 1387, 173. I have 413,448 and what was plugged into the budget was 4 million 14,024. So they brought their budget down a little bit from what they'd given us before, it looks like. I think they've got oh, $576. Oh, wait a minute. We have in the budget for Frontier 4,014,000. Yeah, it, it, but you add those two numbers from their from their sheet here and it and it's five hundred and seventy six dollars less than what I have I have in the budget. Where, where are you looking? I'm looking at their numbers. The statement required minimum contribution mm -hmm. 
and the the general fund. Right. Mm -hmm. You add those two numbers together, and that should be our frontier regional. School. And the number that they're giving us now is four million one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Yeah, but, right, because that that includes the transportation, which is on a separate line. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> but you take the transportation out of there, that number needs to change. Is the transportation the same number? Yeah. 150? Yep, okay. transportation is the same number. So what do you get for a number? <clears throat> I have uh, oh, 4013448, I think is what I came up with. Would you come up with? Well, that's good because I was looking at it and I'm saying four million one, and I, we've got just over four million. So, all right. So that represents, according to their calculations, uh, a 3.87 percent increase. And if you look, everyone else, I think, uh, was well. Wait, we, we, we got whacked. They got a 5.52 percent. And, and this is what they gave you uh, Tuesday night, That's this particular correct. sheet? Okay, just want to make sure it's the most current. Yeah. So change, but... I think we also have to keep in mind, too, that besides the school budget, in the slight increase we have, we're also now paying for a capital improvement plan that they did not have before for Frontier. Which Haven't is, started that yet, but right. that will come in 2022. It is going right. to come in. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. right. So, you know, that's, a, a, that's another cost to the town that goes to the schools. And once again, that pool of money starts to disappear again. Um, Trevor needs to leave us. Is there anything you, you need for me? I just got to run over to Frontier for a parent sports thing. Thank you, well, we've got Trevor. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, I'll be thanks. back if you need. I don't know how long we'll be here, but 7:32. Oh, that's the ticking clock. My, All right. Yeah, I will estimate. not be back by now. <laughs> <laughs> Your computer shuts off at 7:30. <laughs> but I would, I would like to get. You know, I would like to see the bottom number and then go. Okay, is it a is it a two and a half? Or is it an override that we're asking for? What other parts do we have to bring back and cut out? Even if we cut out this stuff, I don't know if we'll get to the two and a half percent. Or, you know, you may have to do an override, but or just kind of look at all those things and go. Okay, if we can't, who are we letting go? What do we find? You know, who are we cutting? What services are we yeah. cutting? Right. Yeah. Um. Now it's not an easy thing, but it's not. But you just got to figure some, out what it is, right? But at or some point present time. it. Okay, town, do you want to let these services go and and reduce staff, or do you want to pay for this with with an override? That's a long meeting right there. That's a long yeah. meeting. Might be a double nighter this week. Yeah, and unfortunately, what happens is that too many towns they've gone through the same thing. They vote the budgets, and then they when they put it on the ballot, which is something it doesn't later, pass. It doesn't pass, and then you got to start all over. Again. Yes, yeah. I know. I've seen that. And it, it happens time and time again. It does. Because mm -hmm. people, they're it's. But I would like it to sound good until they see it. So you know the I, bottom line. I agree. I would like to know what, what the bottom line is. Um, and what we can or can't afford. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back. Yep. So when so, you said that there was $16,000 left. Yeah, when, when you look at the revenue, uh, it's in my revenue calculation, which I haven't shown you yet. Okay. Skip, skip said, don't, don't print that yet. I know. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> why. Get, but this, the revenue, whatever that number is, minus so, so the, so the, the total. So you here, take right that now. total, and that's what we have to cover in revenues. So that would include our local receipts, our taxes, anything coming from other funds, and our free cash. But I've been just kind of running through the numbers each mm -hmm. time we make an adjustment to make sure that we're being covered. And then today we didn't, we were overusing free cash. I had to reduce the capital stabilization number to be able to make sure that we weren't overusing. But even then, right. you're not going to leave only sixteen thousand in free cash. Well, that's right. Well, that's that's, a, that's, that's You that's can't. A, you can't do that. Right. right. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> and that's why I say you know even if you squash the the total of the two hundred and fifty. It's yeah. still not going to give us a whole lot of room no. because 
if we approve all these other the budgets, debt. right, we're, we're just not going to have enough yeah. free cash on hand to carry us through. Can we shoot for about a million? How much do we shoot for? Well, for usually we want to. We usually get about a million, million, two, and we can free cash. Um, Thank you. But that's that's based on a calculation of you know right. excess revenues, we uh, usually, unspent expenses, right. um, free cash left over from last year. Right. Various we usually try to carry over like around three hundred oh, to four hundred thousand in free cash. Good. And <laughs> we usually try to carry over around three hundred to four hundred thousand free cash from year to year. From year to year, is that right, Brenda? Correct me if I'm wrong. Usually, we try to carry over around three hundred to four hundred thousand uh, free 200 cash. Two hundred to three hundred. You right. don't want to carry over too, too much, much because then you have too much free cash all the time. Right. So, so you want to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to have a happy medium. Mm. Uh, I I think if you left two hundred, that's plenty because if you run across anything unusual, that's going to more than cover it. But okay. Um, Last year, I think we left three hundred and three hundred some odd. You're right. I think it was like, like three twenty-five. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> the, the other thing that we we do and is when we look at revenues, we typically lowball local receipts. Mm -hmm. So that generates, if we're fortunate, generates. And if we if we reduce the local receipts by four hundred thousand dollars, say from what we anticipate, mm -hmm. then that's and we're and we're on target. Then we're, that will give us four hundred thousand dollars free cash, following year plus whatever we carry over. And in fact, last year we had what one point two million mm -hmm. in free cash, mm -hmm. or this year I should mm -hmm. say, uh, right. and that included give or take half a million from local receipts. Uh, and the two hundred thousand we carried over, so there, there was another five hundred thousand that showed up someplace. So that one point two million was what was in free cash at the end of last fiscal year, and we spent some of that on I'll this let, year's budget. I'll let, uh, and some of it Brenda explain the free exactly. cash number. So, so right, it? so the free cash is certified in the fall based on the end of the year of two thousand nineteen. In this case, right? Okay. So that free cash is certified by uh, DOR to uh, be not money we can use because it's not really money. It's basically it's basically mm, your retained earnings. If you were a if you were a for profit business, it's mm -hmm. it's it's what the value of your business is, what your assets are, less your liabilities, right? Um, so. We tend to use that throughout the year for capital projects, various things that come up. This year we use some for grant matches so that we could get those MVP grants. Mm -hmm. The last grant match we actually used out of stabilization, so that reduced our stabilization a little bit. Um, but then we use some of that to support our budget process. And here we are. We're yeah. <laughs> Does that That's answer your saying. question? I'm not right. sure it completely yeah. answers your yeah. question. Even, oh, even yeah. that yeah. 1.2 million, though, that, that we had in the fall, here we are now looking at this budget, and we're coming up short. Well, we, or could come up short. We, we, also, with that we also spent money out of that that yeah. we tried not to. Right, we tried not to, but we had to. We can well, sit down. I can, I can maybe give you some right. That's something right. to look yeah. at to yeah. understand. I think I got it. Okay. So in the fall, you certify basically what the balance was for the last year, and you have 1.2 million left over, and then you spend. So that was fall of 2019, certifying the end of fiscal year 19 and fiscal year 20. We spent some of that for stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then at for next year's budget, we say we're going to fund the budget this much from revenues and this much from free cash. And if you subtract that, plus what we spent from the 1.2 million, you want 300,000 left. Very good. Okay. Yeah. I got it. That's, yeah, and it, that's and it, a pretty and good it's, summary. It's, it's usable until June 30th, and then it goes away, and then it's recertified. And then the only thing you've got as of June 30th is 
that you could use in an emergency until you get free cash certified is the reserve fund, 100,000 bucks. Correct. We can also borrow. There's nothing that prevents the town from borrowing if it needed to. I'm not sure that that would require, I think, a town meeting vote, but you know, hold a special town meeting to or to fund something, to do something. So. so when you say your revenue estimate minus this leaves you 16000 in free cash, our goal would be to get that to maybe 200000 So we're looking for $200,000 out of this account. To, yeah. Now I'm with you. Got it. Okay. So? Take out what we want to put into capital stabilization. But that still doesn't that's fix it. That yeah, still doesn't plan. fix it because we still need to put money into the budget for the clarifier. And I th and I think we'd be stupid not to because because well, then next year we're going to have to start working on the other one. Hang, hang on a second. What do you mean take money out for the clarifier? Well, you're going to have to have to put put <clears throat> money into the budget to pay for it. Well, are we going to? Or are we going to pay for it? Good question. Yeah, it, 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 I mean, obviously we're going to pay for it, but how are we going to pay for it? Right, because it's, that is not debt excluded. The other one right. is, but this one is not. The clarifier is not debt excluded. So yeah, whatever yeah. we put into the budget <coughs> has to come out of whatever revenues we've got coming in. So we could have, we wouldn't, as far as the... Uh, Clarifier goes. If we had that excluded that, we wouldn't be having this part of the discussion. Uh, does everybody understand what debt exclusion is? I, okay. I know about that. It's I'm like 85 percent on it's this a conversation. It's a proposition two and a half override, <laughs> yeah. just for essentially just for that particular item, I'm familiar and it goes with away it. when it's paid for. I'm familiar with debt exclusions and, and prop two and a half. I think what I'm missing a little bit, which is okay, I'm happy to just absorb it by osmosis over time. I've been getting a lot yeah. of information that yeah. way. Um, is just a little bit of like where the monies come from and how much needs to be where. So, but I'll, I'll pick that up. We're all working on that, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Develop a strong opinion right. in one or two more years. Yes. <laughs> so the revenue projections, I assume take into account stuff like Channing Beat going away and the Snowberry Circle thing is all selling right no. now. No, no, I, I don't get into that kind of nitty gritty. I take last year's tax levy, add two and a half percent to it, add what I think is a reasonable estimate of new growth, and that's what we think we're going to get for, for our tax base. It's, it's all but a so guess at this point. that reasonable estimate of new growth is what? just based on past years? Based growth, on history. Or? Based on history, I have no idea what it's going to be like this year. It could be more or it could be less. And, that, and that's part of the fallacy that it's, it's a misunderstanding is, is you just said, you know, the Proposition 2 and a half doesn't care if DA or right. took over every piece of town, but except your property, your taxes would be $7 million next year. If you add on 2.5% of the previous year, of taxable base. If it all goes tax exempt, then it's all you're the last much. taxpayer, you pick up the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah. so it's immaterial to Brenda what that is. All she's going by is what the taxable property was the year before, plus two and a half, plus new growth. And that's it. Yeah. And that's why some years you'll see your taxes go up ten percent and not three percent. Correct. Correct, okay, because, because it depends on what the valuation is, correct. which is all done on the assessor's end. Right. Um, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, how much is being taken off of the tax rolls? Right. Right. Uh, which the is immaterial beats. in your office. It, well, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It, it, it doesn't no, figure into my calculation. Into the tour, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's, that's, a, that's, a, and that's what people don't understand. They don't understand why some years they come, you know, because I was, I was an assessor for seven years. And, well, how come my taxes went up 10 percent? You know, I mean, because I thought they could only go up two and a half. Well, no, that's not the true. tax. The tax levy can only go up two and a half, right, but right, but your taxes can go up 
they, as I said, they can vote for thousands or something. So, you know, one of the arguments that you hear all the time is, is from, you know, complaining about DA in particular, but any of the uh, nonprofits taking a piece of property that's paying taxes mm -hmm. and buying it and removing it from the tax roll. It doesn't do anything to the tax levy. No. Tax levy is going to go up by two and a half percent. But the base that you're But the base that you're yeah. spreading it out just went down. If it was a million dollar piece of property, it just went down a million bucks. Right. So, yeah. and they've done it. They've done a real good job of beating up all the property and all. No doubt about that. An old Deerfield. There's about half a dozen pieces left. So. That was a very um, nice, compact explanation. I'm trying to write it down. And, that, and that's oh, one, one of the problems it's going to be for the uh, uh, payment of the uh, sewer if it's done on a tax basis. Is even though all these facilities use it, all the tax exempts won't have to pay for it. Well, see, the, that's that 25-75 split. The 20, you're right, of the 25. The right. 75, they've got to pay for it because they're users and they pay based on their but, water but usage. But until they work out something right now, it's going on a tax rate. No, so unless, they, unless they put it that, unless they somehow convert that to a fee structure. A commit, a commitment, a correct. Right. What, I'm not that's sure. A commitment of, of what, what they're going to give in lieu of taxes. Right. Well, they're not going to give anything in lieu of taxes. So no, they, do. Make, they do. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. If you ask them, they it's, will tell it's you they donation. do not give. It's a donation. That's yes. it. There you go. Technically, yeah. yeah. I know what it is. Yeah. You know what it is. They know what it is. But they're not going to admit that it's a yeah. in lieu it. of taxes. Got uh, it. But, but until we get something definite from them, you don't budget that they're going to right. increase what they're going to give you because you have no idea. And if they don't increase what they're going to give you, then, then we're in trouble. Why? Well, I'm just saying, if you budget for an increase and then they don't, I, that's, that's why you, you don't spend that money. That's why you budget conservatively on your local receipts. Well, okay, there's a lot of reasons you budget conservatively. On well, that's your receipts, that's what that's also what hits that's our that's school budgets too. Students coming, yeah. tuition the, free. The, the tax levy will increase from those schools. There's a lot of kids up there. Uh, so. Yes, there is. But. You know, it's, but the only part that that's on the taxes is that 25% of the, uh, right, 75% is going to be borne by the sewer, sewer users, users, of which the nonprofits are sewer users and they pay they pay the, the it's not a tax bill, but it's a right. use. But that's what I said, to be done as a fee. Water. Has to be done as a fee, which it is. Oh. So, and that's the other thing. You had the two and a half on top of the, you know, eight or nine hundred users. Uh, you know, they're going to get a triple wacky on that because it really comes out seventy. It's really twenty eighty, not seventy five. Totally. Yes. Seven, seventy eight, eighty seven and a half, and twelve and a half. Is, it, is that what it comes out? Sure, they so, they're, they're both but, users and uh, yeah, right. taxpayers. Yeah. So, and I suspect the user fee is higher than the tax, uh, that small amount of tax. Oh, well, yeah. So it may even be worse than that. It may be a 90 10 split, but an 80 20, 90 10, someplace yeah. in that range. It's, it's not, it's 25 75. So now you really want to get confused? You could also play the game of home rule. Right? 25 percent oh. as far as the nonprofits oh, yeah. file legislation yeah. and you could you could uh, if, I, if I remember correctly I think you could tax up the, uh, not not the educational institutes but the properties that are non-educational like faculty and so oh, on and so forth. I, I believe you can, I believe you could do, uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's called home rule and 25% oh, through that? legislation. You'd have, to, you'd have to advocate right. the legislators yeah. to... So there's a four to five year process. Right, it's a long process. Yeah. 
So let's get back to the budget. But hopefully you'd be able to see keep what it on good terms and you'll be able to just sit down with people and say, hey. Right. So what would you like to do with the budget? Well, if you're the chair, you can make the suggestion. Well, I did. You go through the budget and continue until we've exhausted the line items. Yeah, and then, you and then uh, did, did you want to vote on Frontier Regional with that yes. change that I made? Yes. Uh, and I'll get that reflected in the, in yeah. the actual um, so detail. That's 31254. Oh, so that comes up to 4013448 instead. So that would be the recommended figure. 4013448. And that is in your budget books in the third uh, tab, tab three. Yeah, 300 series education, second line. Should they give us a breakdown? I have not seen a breakdown from, um, well, I think you had one skip the other day. Skip had one, yeah. For, uh, need this? This is from yeah. years. Right. That's more than. I'd be more than willing to uh, give everybody a copy if they so desire. Yeah, the only thing I and have that I forwarded on to everybody uh, a couple weeks ago was the summary. Right. And, well, no, you don't have it there, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Um, but does some, anybody want this? Don't, I mean, it is 20 pages, but I don't care. They're, they're certainly entitled to it and see what how their budget looks. I wish that I did, but I I don't have time to look at it unless we are doing You need to have time. That's what your job is here, to look at these things. Because so, nobody else is going to look at it. I know, <laughs> I, but, I, but I won't at this time. So. Um, I would like a if, copy of that. I don't need a copy like, tonight. but. And I, and I can't go to the meetings either. So. Then you have to look at it. Okay, well then let's do it. Let's look at it together. Because if I just if I just look at it, I'm not gonna. <laughs> not gonna understand. I know, well, I'm gonna understand numbers, yes. but I'm not. Yeah. My yes. my attention won't be drawn to the important things, and it'll be a waste of my energy. So so, so now I get it. Yeah. With with Frontier Regional, the 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 charge is um, based on like a rolling average of students. And the reason Deerfield's percentage went up was because the, the year that they're getting rid of was a year of low enrollment from from Deerfield. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it okay. six more students, I believe, this year. Got coming. it. Yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. It's a five-year rolling average. I see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was intended. And that was intended yeah. to kind of smooth out. It doesn't, Deerfield, Deerfield, because we're roughly 50%, it doesn't change much. But for Waitley and, and Conway and Central, Waitley and Conway, it's, it's it, they tended to fluctuate too. Mm -hmm. So, and they were probably the ones that complained about changing it. But, you know, that is it. Yeah, Sunderland actually had a decrease. Mm -hmm. Nice. But last year Conway was hit really hard, and they now were. this year they're yeah. is still yeah. Yeah, everybody seems to take their turn. Yeah. As the years. Okay. So we did get hit on the state required minimum contribution. Mm -hmm. It's up seven percent. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And uh, the uh, Frontiers General Fund, it, it, it's up 30000 bucks, uh, so it's not up much, 2%. Two, two I'll tell you what, we're going to get hit again next year. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, our our EQV is going to go up again, and it, although that's, I think that's every th three years. I don't know. Uh, but I don't know how our new growth is going to yeah. be way up. I mean, I don't know what their required minimum yeah, the required minimum contribution, how that's calculated. Yeah. No one else seems to know either. <laughs> <coughs> they want it that way. Yeah, that's, I think they want it that way. 
So anyway, we've got... Can you explain this again? Yeah. So there's a state required minimum contribution that's some sort of state law based on the valuation of property in town. Well, that's that that's one of the that's one of the pieces. Right, there's okay. a criteria that there's they follow. There's, there's, some there's, sort of there's also right. an, a... Uh, it's called the foundation budget that you have to spend per pupil. Okay. Well, you, you, all, you also have the... the uh, it's not net worth... I don't know if net worth shows up in there or not, but what does show up in there is your uh, the average uh, income. So income okay. is in there as well. And that's, and that's been an issue with this time. And well. Deerfield, uh, and Deerfield has a relatively high 66 or 69, and we're thinking a lot of that may come right out of uh, Deerfield plus. And that's also Carol's uh, in Waitley because they're on the zip code. That's you know. what yeah. I heard. Or yes. Carolyn is yeah. thinking. I don't know if that's yeah. if that's just and a speculation. Well, well, we, don't well yeah. we don't know. Well, we don't know because yeah. uh, Buckland mm -hmm. Buckland just went to it yeah. in the last yeah. couple With years. With Shelburne, and, right? Yeah. And, and they they mm -hmm. because there's uh, uh, income was way up through the sky. Yeah. And the they were, and and part of theirs was Ashfield. Mm -hmm. uh, Zip code was included and <coughs> so forth. And I don't know how they finally, whether they could get it settled with the yeah, state. Yeah, I don't, but, I don't uh, know how they, they were pursuing that. it big time because right. your, your per capita was way out of line mm -hmm. with what it was. Yeah, uh, because there's multiple uh, zip codes, and, and that's what yeah, I'm looking at right that. now in, in Deerfield because, uh, because of that. If you compare per capita income Deerfield versus Sunderland, you'll notice that there's a substantial difference in fact. So, uh, I didn't realize this is taking time, but <coughs> so this sits in here if you want to look at it. It's in the box up there. Uh, municipal Directory, Massachusetts Municipal yeah. Directory. So take a quick look at That's this year. This is uh, 2019. 19, 1920. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's the new one. So, town of Deerfield, income per capita is forty thousand two hundred eighty-five. BQV equalized valuation per capita is one hundred forty-one thousand eight seventy-one. And you slip to, yeah. To sh Sunderland. 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 Uh, income per capita, twenty-eight thousand four seventy-nine. EQV per capita, one hundred and two thousand three sixty-nine. So yeah, Waitley's probably a little bit more. Yeah, so. it is. At least it has been. And we're picking up part of Waitley. There's a lot of a lot of Waitley delivers under uh, 01373. So it's based on the zip code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. WH, right? Yep. So Waitley. So their their per capita income is twenty four five eighty nine. Uh, the EQV is one hundred eighty five thousand. Yeah, so we shouldn't be at forty thousand when it says thousand dollars. I'm sorry, what was Whitley's? Whitley is twenty four thousand five eighty nine for the yeah. per capita, and EQV is one hundred eighty four nine thirty six. So we're thinking a lot of it has to do with the education system. <coughs> uh, yeah, all those teachers at DA who live at DA and DA, make good DA, income Bement. and Bement and uh, well, well, they don't live the, the teachers, don't, the teachers don't necessarily make great incomes there. No, they don't, you're right. But they're not but paying any taxes either. They have well, free housing. They have free housing. And that's yeah. that's part and parcel. <laughs> so so they can, you know, and, and a lot of them, not all of them, I mean, but a lot of them after a few years. Uh, you know, start looking around and saying, "Look, we're, when we retire, we need some place to live." So they, they may end up buying something on the Cape. Yep. It used to be, or Vermont, of course. Or course if, yeah. A few years from now, the Cape will be all gone because the yeah. 
<laughs> we fly it out. But, but, uh, That's why you go to the hills instead of the camp. Yeah. yeah. But anyways. Anyway. All right. So those are the... Okay. Yeah. In our new so if you have nothing right better to do, I want to come down and look at this that's no. up there. Yeah. It is interesting. All right, so I think, was there a motion? I can make a motion to recommend the Frontier Regional School budget. Unless somebody already did, and I missed it, four million thirteen thousand four hundred forty-eight. Is there a second? I'll second it. Uh, there's a motion before you. Uh, all those in favor? Hope I want to discuss. I will be voting no on all these budgets going forth because of the way the town is getting squeezed, and it's going to put us in a bad situation as far as the town budget. So I just want to say, not so much whatever the budget may be, but just because of the financial situation that we're in and how it's going to put the town budget in a position where the town budget is going to have to start making cuts, which we've already seen with the capital stabilization fund. If one department or one fund needs to be uh, reduced, then I think all funds need to be reduced. So that's all I want to say, just so people understand where I'm coming from. I absolutely, well, I generally agree with you. I yeah. don't know whether I'd say every budget needs to be reduced, but somewhere along the way, we're going to need to reduce budgets. Right, we're going to have to someplace. address that. Vote, I'm going to vote for this, yeah. not because I think we can mm. afford it, but just to get it out there so it's on the plan, and let's then add everything up. We'll take a look. No, I know what you're trying to do. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then let the selectmen do their job. Right. That's the scary part. I'm glad somebody else said that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, all those in favor? Okay. All those opposed? Abstentions? So, two, one, zero. Two one two. Two one two. Yeah. Two one two. I'm I was sorry. Say two one two. two, one two. I'm sorry. Okay. So should we, uh, should we yeah. bother doing the transportation then, or do you want? To yes, let's do transportation. Let's also do this. Uh... Okay. Yep. Get, get out of the way. All right. Again, we, transportation is not anything that we've got any choice over. It's down forty-seven thousand. Don't ask me why. Yeah, hard to say. I'm gonna have to take. Well, we've got the regional transportation came in at one hundred and six thousand for next year. I don't know. Uh, whether that. Uh, Darius said the other night that we had a very, uh, more or less a very reasonable home discount as far as <clears throat> the vendor goes. Oh, okay. But we, we, you'd really want to look at, see what was what was on the cherry sheet for regional mm -hmm. school transportation last year. I don't know what yeah. it was. Well, I wondered if part of the reason the transportation had gone down also was because of the um, reimbursement they got from the state. Well, that's that's what I'm talking about. The oh, we'd, we'd have yeah. to. Yeah. It's 106,000 instead. Yep. So I don't know what last year's was. Uh, so, anyways, the, the uh, transportation figure is what? 100 and 115,036. 115,036. Could I have a motion? So moved. Moved. I'll second. Seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? So four in favor, one opposed. No one's abstaining. Or no one's voting. Press it. Uh, and let's take a look at Franklin Tech. Do we have Franklin Tech's budgets? I, I forwarded them to everybody uh, by email. Okay. Right. There is a. And I printed one for John because I knew that, or Jack, because I knew he would want one printed. 
He doesn't know how to use the printer. <laughs> he just doesn't want to use the printer. <laughs> okay, so the. Uh, That would be the last one in that section if you want to look at that. It's 5410, right? 3310. Yeah, 320. 5410. Well, no, I think this one is, I'm not sure where this goes. Oh, no, no, that. Oh, that's what you wanted to that's look a, at? That's what so, I wanted to look So at. this is um, a warrant article, a specific warrant article for capital items for Frontier Regional. Instead of, instead of doing um, the excluded debt that that we approved last year. Apparently they're not to that point. They have some small things that they want to want to take care of now. So this is that. It's a it's a special article. It's on it's on page four of your of your summary. I added it in um, this afternoon when I got this. Okay. So we could vote on this if you want. This is um, our share of that is going to be twenty three thousand nine fifty nine. This isn't the article that this isn't the specific article. There's another article that that we would use to um, to get this vote on on town meeting um, on the town meeting floor. Okay. Do you remember how much they we voted for the exclusion last year or whatever it was that we voted? Well, the the total debt was going to be a million eight twenty six 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 sixty four, I believe. <laughs> And, and whatever our share of that was going to be, probably, you know, it depends yeah. on each year, but what our share is going to be. <coughs> but it was a million, a million eight twenty six six sixty four. I, I looked at the number enough times. <laughs> but it's not going to be too long before you won't be able to do that. You know? I know. <laughs> I'm trying to take advantage of it while I can. Absolutely. Is this different than, this is, is this different than what you sent me? Are we doing? Um, front, front I had some twenty three nine five nine. Is correct. that correct? Is that different? Or yep. is that nope, no, that's that the same a, thing. If you look where it says Deerfield. Oh, 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 got it. Yep, yep, that is exactly the same thing. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I must be tired. I just looked at the what other line, line item though. One. <laughs> just want to check, <laughs> make sure. Yeah. I just was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Find where it says in green twenty three nine five nine. Yeah. I want to make a motion on this one. I'll move to approve this um, uh, capital request article from Frontier Regional for 23959. Second. Move, second. Any discussion? Can we ask them to reduce that exclusion by this? How about if we ask them to take this out of E and D? Get out of what? Well, they took two hundred thousand out of E and D um, to reduce the budget. Is well, I think because they had to, right? Because wasn't E and D too high? No, it, is, it, isn't there some kind of rule? Yeah, there is, but they yeah. I think it's five percent. They weren't yeah. anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because they were at five hundred thousand with their E and D, so they're using two hundred thousand of it. I, I don't know. What's that anyway. Uh, retained earnings. It's, it's like uh, free cash. It's like free cash. For, for, the, the, school. School, for the school is called excess and deficiency. And they, they are going to use that for something. It was something that they were going to They're going to use that to offset. They, they proposed using that to offset the article that was voted on last year for the capital. Oh, yeah. the million They're eight. Gonna, okay. Yes, you know, so to make it look good. But, you know, it's kind of like one hand because it means you're not going to use the, I believe it was 50,000. To offset their regular budget, yeah. you know, so it's kind of like, well, this is, you know, this is just a. Well, the the million eight we had as the town of Deerfield had right. that debt excluded, so right. that would have been an easier pill to swallow than yeah. this. But. So, so are, anyway. any discussion on this? If not, all those in favor? Aye. I'll vote for it. Two. Let's go vote now. Uh, all those opposed? Uh, abstentions? Two, 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 one, two, one. It does not carry. Oh, two, two, one? Yeah, two, two, two in favor, one. two opposed. Uh, one abstention, it does not carry. Okay. All right. Uh, what else? Um, I had 
a couple of things that I brought with me. Well, do we do we Bas want before we do those? Do we want to do the uh, tax school stuff? Um, it's up to you if you think that's worth it at this point. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I do. We'll just get on that. Well, you know, the tech school isn't going to change any. That's I, right. I don't know about about you know Deerfield Elementary could depending on what they yes. come up with. Well, yeah, we'll, next week, well, next next week is when we. Uh, yeah. So the tech school was. Um, tech school was three thirteen seven fifty six, which yep. is up, which and is that's roughly ten percent. Account number three two zero fifty four ten. That is a fairly substantial increase, but that's based on that's po based on population. And somewhere you have the budget, right? What's that? You, I, I I know I got it by email okay. and I forwarded it on to everybody. Yeah. But it was a summary budget. It yeah, was. For I, the most I part. looked at it. Mm -hmm. Right. It didn't. It wasn't a line item budget. You don't have to line no, item and, budget. No. And I don't think okay. I don't think tech usually gives us a no, line item. No, they usually don't. I've gone up and gotten it though. So. Oh, okay. It's, you know, it's, it's similar to this. So it's strictly based on population? No, that one's based on number of students. So I went up 8% last year, so we and, uh, must have had both of students up here? Must have. Or it had gone down quite a bit the year before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of years people were down. I don't remember the number of students off the top of my head. That's sitting on my... I don't either. You get it on my calendar. Did you put the number of students in? So how does this budget work? So they make up their whole budget and they divide by the number of students and we just get the piece for the number of students that we're sending? It's it's something like that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a per capita EQ, because there's an EQVM yes. as right. well. Right. There's I a formula again. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think the Deerfield's paying upwards of around 17 or 18,000 and some of them yeah. are down around 11,000. I remember yeah, on, we're a wealthy town. <coughs> on, on the summary, on the summary, <coughs> they're per Student cost was eighteen five roughly for Deerfield. For Deerfield, but right. there's other towns that are down around right. eleven. All right, mm -hmm. and then you've got somebody like Irving, which is even more than we got. Yeah. Okay. Well. You got the power plant over here, so that means they and so, it says and North so, and so I've been told oh. our valuations are going up. They seem to be going up this year, so that tells me that next year we're going to even see a bigger increase if we had no change in students. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Well, you ha you'd actually have to for you'd have to look at what the senior class looks like and what the incoming freshman class oh, okay. looks like. That's and um, no, you're talking about town valuation, not school valuation. Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. because right. I, yeah, yeah, the town yeah. valuation. Right, right. Yes. The town. The, the, well, the there again, the EQV. Guns. The EQV is not done every year. That's done over every so many years, uh, and I, I don't remember exactly what it is. So it's not going to affect us next year. What will affect us next year is the new growth. New growth. Okay, because how, of how does the how does okay. the nonprofit or the schools? The three schools, which are probably the largest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does that affect our EQV? Because I mean, it shouldn't, it, but it does. It, it does should. because uh, because uh, and I and the EQV is another one of those things like some of this other stuff. There's a whole bunch of crap that goes into it, and they and there's only they make one, it so complicated that nobody really knows. There's only one person in the state who understands it. Yeah, something like that. And but it's a, it's, a, it's a mix of the valuation, the income, and the whole works. And uh, uh, even though they're not taxable, it is still you know there's like third is and you know you can't pick on just DA because I mean it, it, this town when I was an assessor seven years ago, and I'm sure it's probably changed a few percentage points. But at that point in time, time, thirty percent of this town was tax exempt. 30% evaluation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but that includes your town buildings, your state land, mm -hmm. and your home, and, and, you know, and places, uh, you know, your churches, um, you know, uh, PVMA, Pocumtuck, Ridge, you know, so it's not just DA or even Brook, it's, it's a whole bunch of them. And, but, uh, you know, the sad part of it is, is the valuation of the town, and I think last year was around 750000 or something like that. Oh, I can't remember for sure. Of taxable, and uh, right. uh, total, total, I believe, was over, uh, right around a billion plus or minus, that included the, the tax exempt. Mm -hmm. But yet, 
DA alone, their assets, their endowment plus their property, I think that's sitting in that is too. right around a billion. Wow. If you look it up. I and have no idea. They're, they're and that, that's the sad part, is their... Oh, in, their, their, their endowment is about six hundred million. Right, but I'm saying their assets. If you take all the buildings and everything oh, yeah, else, it's a, it's a they're right around a billion. The whole town, the property valuation is right around a billion. Mm -hmm. So, oh. and and that's just DA. That doesn't include Eagle Brook on that. Uh, uh, PBMA, PBMA is, is is cash broke. I mean, you know, they mm. you know they have yeah, more but, break, yeah. You know, but as far as cash, they have nothing. But they. Mm. Uh, you know, so it, it's, and that's... that's it's still, it all has an impact. Yeah, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, there again, as you asked before, we're paying 1.6%. Uh, I think they're, whatever you want to call them, donations or whatever. Yes. Are, and there again, this comes from when I was an assessor, I figured out it's like one-tenth of 1%. And we're paying one six one point six percent. Well, and, and that is just a cash contribution. There's other things there are, yeah. there are yes. in kind services you know, in fairness, that yes, provide they, quite a bit of. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah, I mean, you know, they they, they donate to the uh, resource officer. Uh, they do a lot of things, uh, you know, for the town. Uh, you know, a lot of maintenance on the buildings. Uh, you know, a lot of, you know but some transportation here and there, and so forth. You know, one time, you know, uh, there's I don't remember how long ago it was. I believe it was before you came, so you probably never seen it. They had actually put out a uh, pamphlet that went down through and listed all their in-kind services with a dollar value, so that you could appreciate a lot of stuff because. Most people, all they see is what they, you know, they're uh, accepting at the town meeting, right. and that's it. You know, which is you know, uh, hundred thousand or something. You know, well, that, the whole mix. that plus their their you know, but, school resource right. officer donation, their pledge for the school roof. Um, last yeah. year, we recognized them for the donation right. of the EMS. But there's other things. Like I mean, you're right. There's a lot, the, a little stuff the in there. Use of the ice rink up there for for uh, things and so yeah. forth. And, okay. And, you know, there's a there's a whole ton of things that you never think about, uh, and uh, so there is a lot of other things. You know, so you know, a lot of people just spew that they're you know need to pay more. Money. So, so where, where are we? Anyway, we'll yes. the money. So Frank, Franklin Tech Franklin Assessment, Tech do, you, assessment. Do, you do you want to vote on that? Do you yes, wanna... I would like to vote okay. on that. I'd like to get those two. Uh, That's uh, right, because we have the Tech Assessment and then we have the Tech Capital right behind it. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. so I move 313,756 for the Franklin Tech Assessment. Oh, I seconded that, I think, already. Oh, did we already move it? I think you did already move it. Okay. That's what I wrote down. So, Maybe it's not true. It's, it's, it's moved, left. seconded. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor? Okay. Opposed? Abstentions? Three in favor, one opposed, one abstention. So that uh, one passes. Yep, that one yes. passes. Franklin Tech Capital, 17,818. That's down 3,000. Now that was that was voted on by the town anyway. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. that's, uh, that's, uh, so it's it's just that's a, a that's a no brainer. It's, it's yeah. So you're gonna make a motion? So yes, I move it for seventeen thousand eight eighteen number three twenty fifty eight hundred. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Opposed? Abstentions? Four in favor, none opposed, one abstention. I just need one minute to catch up. I've gone very well. Fifty-eight, fifty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-five, fifty-four, fifty-three. Okay, start to keep going. I'm done. Exactly one minute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Computer just went blank. That was Julian first. So what else do we have? That uh, I think that's really all that we can take up tonight. Okay. Um, I am beating up on the selectmen to get their, their some of their other budgets in, okay. and uh, I will continue that. Uh, okay. Um, last week we talked about the uh, repair costs of the um, dishwasher at the school, and you were wondering whether it still belonged in 2024 on the schedule. 
Um, and actually, it was Jack that had said, find out what those costs are. And he's not here tonight. But um, I did contact the school, and she said that their repair guy has only spent 200 we the school has only spent $286 on repairs since 2018. The repair guy says it's fine for now, it's in great working condition, minimal minimal work needed. Um, he's thinking it's just fine for right now, you know, probably So last so time. just leave it at the yeah. 24. Exactly. Right, yeah. just leave it at 24 right and if it yeah. right. Thank you. Brian. Thank you. Um, the other thing that was brought up during the meeting, uh, which was really a faux pas on my part, but um, we had talked about the um, senior center. And John Koreski was looking at the budget and saying, well, how come we've, we've spent 75% of our budget already this right. year? Well, I wasn't thinking about the fact that the budget line item he was referring to was our assessment and I allocate okay. our assessment to them quarterly. <laughs> so that's why. So what I did tonight was I just brought a revenue and expense for where we're at as of yesterday with the bills that we paid yesterday, mm -hmm. and we're doing just fine. So, um, he's not, so he's not here tonight. When we get the explanation that he asked for, he doesn't show up. I, I read it in a minute. It's okay because, right. because I, we've corresponded by email since then, and I gave him the information. Yeah. Um, but this is, she's, and um, I think Diana and Casey both said that she's watching her budget very closely, so I'm sure she knows where she's at yeah. with things. Okay. So let me ask a quick question. Uh, we, we did not touch stabilization, correct? We didn't make any. Correct. And we didn't do anything with capital requests? Not yet. How about snow and ice? Uh, there's nothing to do on snow and ice yet, I don't think. Well, there's 20,000 hits you get. And then there's 10,000 for the 350th celebration. Correct. We did talk about doing something with that. Do you tonight. want to do anything with the celebration? We can. 10, we can vote that. I just felt like with everything else. Yeah. I mean, I think it's one of the things that ought to be a priority, but I mean. Well, sure, because we have only one more year to collect for it, and it's going to be done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Come go in a flash. <laughs> Just ten thousand bucks. Anyone want to make that motion? Doesn't sound like it's drumming up a lot of support, does it? <laughs> I'll move it. I'll second it. Should we vote it? If we vote it down, we'll take it up again. But um, at some point in time. But. I just. I think I just need like a little context for it. How long have we been planning for this? How much this is only the, this would be the second year. We we did it in fiscal twenty, and so this would be the second year of allocating funds towards it. Um, assuming the three hundred and fiftieth committee has done what I recommended, they should have set up a five hundred one c three for their fundraising efforts. So that would all be run through that organization, but mm -hmm. this is this is for other things. So all those in favor of the ten thousand dollars? I feel like I'm going to stay on this one. I don't know what's going on. So was that was that? No, I'm not abstaining. Okay. So so our three hundred and fiftieth is in two thousand twenty-three. Correct. And they're planning on starting um, act, uh, activities on on December 31st of 2022. So, so far we've only allocated 10,000. This would be the second 10,000 towards that, that celebration for that year long celebration. Um, so it was two in favor. We're, we're, oh, collecting, we're collecting donations too. So if any of you would is, like to donate. Is this the sort of thing, I guess what I was, maybe I did have some discussion questions on this that I didn't realize. Is this the sort of thing where the idea is that the town is Showing a, com a support is the fund rate. Is it like a symbolic um, participation, or do they really need that funding? Like, well, what the, are they spending it on? Well, the, 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 the town is. The, oh, oh, I was going to say, isn't the town kind of the driver of all the celebrations? We have yeah. a committee of townspeople that are working on it. Um, I'm sorry, Bruce, but go ahead. You yeah. add what you wanted to add to that. I, well, I think Car Carolyn was saying that the, she's anticipating the cost to be upwards of a hundred thousand dollars and. Hopefully the fundraising is going to be, I thought she said, 
at least half of that, if not more. So, oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, if I remember right. Okay, yeah. I, I haven't heard that any was figures. Back, so. That was back uh, a few yeah. meetings ago, if I remember right. I mean, I don't, I don't remember how the fundraising went back 50 years ago, but it was, we actually did a fair celebration uh, for the town's 300th. Uh, yeah. uh, there was the, we had, was the numbers. The, what I understand, they have one guy on there right now who's doing a phenomenal yeah. job. I don't so, know. It, it, yeah, it was good. Okay, uh, all right. It was so. a large parade. Uh, the weather was good. I mean, the weather's bad. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff, but, yeah. but do you think it's going to be an ongoing year? It'll be throughout the year, right? Yeah. 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 Like some, like some of them went ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so let's look. Okay, okay I'm ready now. Okay. I'm going to All those in favor? Yeah. Opposed? Extensions? Three, one, one. Okay. Are we going to call it quits at this point, or do we have something else we need to do? I don't have anything else for tonight, unless somebody else did. Um, did you want to do anything with that memo? Uh, I'll pass it out. Okay. It doesn't say anything. Um, I did. Oh no, that's front here. Sorry. Um, two one one. Mm -hmm. So, um, thank you. All of you know that when I took over the budget, I I was inclined to put only the original vote into the budget so that it it would correspond with our recap and everything would flow, and I would be able to know what the numbers were, you know, know that they hadn't gotten out of place. But um, we did vote some additional money into some of these budgets in the fall that Casey really felt like needed to be in there. So um, I'm, I'm working on trying to figure out how I can get that in, into the spreadsheet um, to, to accommodate her, but she wanted you all to know that we did allocate another 31,000 to the selectmen's staff salaries in the fall. So when you take that into account and see the budget for this year, you'll see that what we're budgeting for this year is basically exactly what we had in the budget for fiscal 20 already. So. So this is the 31,000 we, in, in September, we had a special town meeting and uh, the selectman and the town administrator right, uh, so that would bring put a to motion forward uh, yeah. to take 31,000 out of free cash uh, and uh, add it to the to the budget. They also took how much was they take out for the uh, 14,000 for inspections for the inspection department and, did and the eight, same thing. 8,000 for the planning board account. Yeah. Uh, or excuse me, was it 8,000? Yeah, I think, I it, was think 8, it was 8,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we didn't take that out of. Uh, so, like I said, so I'm trying to figure out how to get it into the budget spreadsheet I, without I mean, distorting my numbers. Frankly, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, this is this is not that anybody's hiding this. Uh, no, it's in, it's in there, and uh, no, but I, I but I think Casey didn't know it was in there, and I think it caused some some uh, frustration on her part today. And I can I can understand that because I she's can. new. She, she she's came still in. trying to catch up she, on she a lot mm -hmm. of stuff that. Yeah has been going on on and off actually so there right i can see where she's at yeah. so this this you can explain where this and i wish you would uh the appropriated number that's in the budget here where that came from the appropriated that that came from our original vote in the spring for the for the annual town meeting. So mm -hmm. That's the last town meeting. Plus, oh, it, and, and right. it w also included anything from uh, any special town meetings. No, no, it no, didn't. no, no okay. it doesn't. Okay. Like I said, that that was always cleaner for me. It took me so long to get the spreadsheet cleaned up so that the numbers were correct mm -hmm. that I felt like that was the best way to do it going forward. But if that's confusing for people and not reflecting a clear picture, which I, I understand, I get that, um, I'm going to see what I can do to get it in there. 
I would appreciate it if you don't. I, not to to just, me, it makes it messy. It does. It absolutely makes it messy. The whole process, quite honestly, last fall of, of you know, putting slush accounts with no specificity as to what the money was going to be used for. Uh, I mean, that's what the reserve fund is, but selectmen are, are loath to come to the finance committee and ask for a reserve fund transfer. It was it was confusing. It, it made it difficult for people to fall, and I can only imagine with you, Brenda, as far as, like you say, trying to keep the spreadsheets clean, that just adds another variable in there that's that's hard to explain well yeah and actually show going, going through all these calculations it, to exactly. make sure my numbers are still right so <laughs> i think i think i agree with skip on that keep it as clean as possible and don't okay and quite honestly if the selectmen don't have the the money the thirty thousand for next year's budget that 30,000 number specifies to where it is, I'm going to vote no. They do. They do uh, have it. And, and I, you'll see that. You've got the budget that might determine. So, all right. Anything else that we need to take up? I don't think so. No. 20 minutes. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. It's moved and seconded. It's not debatable. All those in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. The one thing, thing we meeting? forgot to do is do we okay. want to set a date for uh, next meeting? Oh. Uh, we're going to be showing up the 11th over at the elementary school. Yeah. Can we meet next Thursday? The 11th is what? I, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't meet next Thursday unless we do something like 7.30 or if we do something like at 4.30. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am leaving town next Thursday sure. evening. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> um, I could do one early. Meet I could do after four in the afternoon. I could too. I couldn't do. Yeah, Allie probably. Oh, but can, Allie can't. So, yes. but you know, if I I have somebody else takes the minutes, I don't. No, you have to be here. So if we you, did, if we did, you're irreplaceable. That's right. You are. Nobody wants to type. So no, you are right. not. No, nobody wants no to type that fast. Right. Nobody could right. keep up with that. Um, <laughs> do you want to meet after the Deerfield Elementary School meeting on Wednesday night? What do you think about that? Which Wednesday should it be? Well, that, that would be the eleventh. That would so that'd be about seven o'clock on the. Okay. I'm scheduled for a capital. Uh, improvement committee meeting with the select board for 7:30 that night. Okay. Good. I, I don't know how long it'll take, but if you guys want to get started, I can start at seven o'clock with with this committee, and then just go do that, and then come back. I'd Plus, like you want to get rid of me anyways, because I, I'm planning on voting no for everything until we get this town budget straight down. I was, was going to say, I'm, I'm not sure how much we can accomplish until the select board actually makes, makes some decisions, yeah, right? Yeah. Actually, that's true. We can't, you know, hopefully they will make some. Should we look at the 16th of Monday? Mm, that sounds good. I mean, oh, that, yeah. I'd like to, if we're going to do that, I'd like to, it's really... My schedule is real rough lately, so if we get it in there now, it would be better for me. Um, Monday the 16th? And then if it doesn't happen, I can cancel it out, but I won't worry. I could do Monday the 16th. I could, too. I have a conference that day, and I've got the warrant, but Julie? I can't find it. Julie? I'm still out of town. Oh, yeah, okay. I give back the night of the 17th. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, we, you know, there, there aren't very many. I'd like to take a look at them, and we can at least start taking a look at the... Uh, the revenue picture and uh, see exactly where things are. Where we're on at. the 16th at 6? That would be okay with me. Who says well, no? One, Julie, two, Julie, two three, three no. four. Yeah. yeah, so that's a quorum. We'll have at least John, four. John Pareski will not be back yet. He's going to be back on the 18th, he said. Oh, I thought Is he was right? on the 11th. Yeah, oh, did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think, he's, I'm not sure. right. I think he's going to be back. Oh, okay. Great. I don't know why I had the 18th. By the 16th. Mind. Maybe I'm wrong. I can check. Okay. I'll check. He might not be back on the 18th. All right. Can we 
we meet the 19th? But John might be here, yes. Wait, what, your question, the we 19th? We could meet the 19th, but what do you, what's the 19th look like for you? I, there, ooh, I don't think the 19th is good. Um, I have a, I have a CE I have to do. Okay, Let me get this thing turned off. Okay. okay. But I could, I mean, I, maybe I could. I don't, I have to check to see if it's required or not. My, I'm not sure if I already took an opioid CE. And if I didn't, I have to take this one. Are you okay. available the 19th? I was so at Thursday. Uh, I'm yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. I did something right. going on so later need, this month, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where it is. I could do the 19th if need be. Yeah, she was just asking me about someday, <laughs> someday, uh, some, someday this week about, uh, about getting tickets for something on a Thursday or Friday. I says, I don't care, but it's probably Thursday. The place, place won't be that much, and I don't know. Right, right. Remember what, what day it was? was. <laughs> well, what does the uh, 18th look like then? Oh, oh yeah, you're, oh, you're in Boston. Okay, never mind. I'll see you there. Well, you know, we, it, it's it's almost sure. impossible to get everybody. I mean, if it, it you, you know, it's. If you get a court, do the Monday. It sounds like it's not going to be the last the meeting. So I, mean, I was going to say the Monday, the 16th would I. Uh, would work well for me, would work well for everybody here except for Julie. Um, I'm guessing Jack would probably be able to make that, right? We're all done? Yeah, that we are. Not sure. Oh. So I guess I'll grab that camera then. Um, okay. If for whatever reason right it isn't. Hang on a second. As long as we time. can get a quorum, that's the key. Well,